today an emotional day for the team because of Billy, or was that last night or what? Uh, no, it was today. It was today. You know, uh, uh, I knew, and when I say I, I mean staff, not players, knew that 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 that, uh, that, that you know there was a, a, a chance that this could happen because of you know the deadline and, and, and everything that we've talked about with the family and and certainly uh, uh, them making the decision to to go ahead and do the deal in Bosnia was not a surprise to us because we'd known about the deal in Bosnia for three weeks. Uh, uh, we were just hoping we could have closure uh, to to eliminate that outcome, but but with 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 the uncertainty of it. Uh, it didn't come as a shock to us, but the timing was was obviously a little bit of shock because I got started getting texts this morning. I think it's seven or seven eighteen or something like that was the first one, and that's the first time that I positively know that that was happening. Even though we've known that that, that was an option, and and certainly uh, I wasn't aware of, of uh, that that it would probably happen that soon because you know I, I know that they 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 felt pressure that they had to do something because of the deadline that was put on them. Uh, uh, by the team in Bosnia. Are you disappointed you didn't get closure on that situation, particularly from the NCAA before you made this decision? Uh, uh, of course, of course, uh, uh, disappointed. But, I'm, but but with disappointment, I mean, I'm disappointed when when we when we you know when we lose, and or I was disappointed when we lost back when I played, and I go 0 for 10 or 10 for 10. I mean, it, it was which I never went 10 for 10, but I, I'd be disappointed. So, so I think the disappointment comes from us not having a, a finality to it. But, but a disappointment doesn't come from them making a decision. I, you know, we, we he's handled this very well, and and, and frustration obviously is a, a huge key to it, uh, and and with the family too. But you know, when when, when we when we've talked to him and when I've talked to him, when we laid out the options. Are, are, what's best for Billy? Is it better off that he go overseas and play and make some money and be seen? Is it better off that he stay here with the unknown that we don't know what the unknown is and we certainly don't have the, the exact timetable? Uh, what what's best for you guys' life? And and, and uh, the the decision was made that we want to stay at Kansas. No question, we want to stay at Kansas. But we can't stay and not get anything out of it. I mean, think about a kid that talented not even playing this year. And, and uh, we, so, so uh, we knew that, that we knew it was getting to the end where they had to do something. And, and uh, I was hoping, we were all hoping that, that, the, that closure would come before they had to do something. But I, 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 they, they said they were, you know, frustration had set in and they were tired of waiting. So I, I, I totally understand that. Do you? Uh it's, there's closure from his standpoint because he's gone now and he's going overseas. Do you feel like there's closure from a university standpoint? How's this going to proceed from here? Or is there any procedure from here? Well, I, I, I can't answer that question, uh, Danny. But but you know this was a, it was a it was an NCAA reinstatement matter, okay? Where where we had to get the information to the NCAA and they had to rule on it. And, and, and just just to be real clear, so so fans don't think that who people are at fault. It, it, it was a situation in which it took some time to to get the information to them in in a final package, because if you get it to them and it's incomplete and they want more and more, it drags on longer and longer. So so our people did a good job. I mean, put together. But even with that being said, that package wasn't delivered to them until right before Christmas, a couple of days before Christmas. So you know they didn't probably really get to it till after January 1. Fine. But then there were follow-up deal. We have more questions. We have more things. And, and we, we were hoping that, that it, there could be a resolution to it. And we, we thought that we were getting close, real close. But, but uh, I think the team in Bosnia put pressure on, on, uh, on Nicole and Billy to say, you know, that, that's fine, but our deal's off the table. If, 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 if this can't happen and and uh, and there may be legal reasons why it's off the table I'm not for sure about how the how the contracts work over there but but uh, uh, so we knew all along that it could happen and and, and, and we, we have been told that hey um, we don't disagree with what you're saying we're not saying we agree but we are saying that we are not quite ready to make a final determination on it so so uh, I don't blame anybody to be honest with you I, 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 I uh, uh, I just hate it. I hate it for him because he didn't get a chance to experience what college basketball is all about. And that's not just because he's a Kansas, but anywhere. And, and uh, 
certainly, you know, he's been a good teammate. And hopefully he'll go over there and kick butt and put himself in a position to be a higher draft with Pitt because he went over there. KU fans got glimpses of, of what Billy Preston could be during the exhibition season, but what are KU fans going to miss by not seeing him and live up to his potential regular season, postseason? Yeah. Well, the thing about it is, th this is this is where it gets kind of tricky with me. There, there, there's a, you know, although we didn't put the exact date on it, but in, in there a point in, in with everybody that, hey, if we can't have it by here, we're better off going with what we got. And the uncertainty every day about do we who's our team, practicing guys that we don't even know if they can play. And 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 the good thing is, if there is a good thing, is that this we know who we got. We know who we got. We know how we need to practice. Uh, those sorts of things. So, so, so from our standpoint, you know, you could look at that as, as a positive. But, but what KU fans and what we missed out on was even though he's not near where he's going to be. I mean, th th this young man has top ten, top fifteen type talent. Now, whether or not he could play to that his freshman year, that that remained to be seen, and nobody was ever able to figure it out. But there's no question that there's there's that type of talent. If the fans can the fans feel good that this is just the whole thing is a Philly thing, not a university thing, not an Adidas thing, and that, that it's closed up from that standpoint. I believe so. I believe so, but I'm not. I I I don't know how the inner workings of the NCAA works on reinstatement cases. I, I don't understand that, but I do know that 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 uh, uh, obviously you know he, he didn't play, so there's not a, a situation with uh, forfeiting games if there's a problem. There's none of that. So so. If, if there is a positive uh, of this situation, that, that I would think that it is, you know, it's in the hands of the NCAA, and I gotta believe that that they feel like that we've been totally upfront and presented all the information to them and that kind of stuff uh, to the point where where uh, uh, they wouldn't look at us in a negative way whatsoever.